screwdriver, some Allen keys. Uh, I think this is a three millimeter size. I'm not 100% certain about this size. This is going to be used to re remove the set screws holding this, this big set of silver gear in place. So first we're gonna unscrew the metal bracket that's holding and covering the whole assembly for the DC clutch. The DC clutch is also plugged into the C cable here. You wanna make sure all the power is disconnected too as well because you're going to be unplugging the C cable. And make sure that uh, this doesn't drop as well. So you wanna hold the bracket. Tilt that, and you, you have to actually pivot it to remove that. So, I'm just going to set this aside. Now, it's held in four uh, Allen key Allen bolts here. Uh, so let's go ahead and loosen these up. This is for the DC clutch. So, it's, it's one, two, three. Make sure that's all loose. So those are all loose. Easier to remove after. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna test to see if the DC clutch is the the faulty component or not. So you don't have to uh, reroute the cables as yet. We're just gonna replace it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna loosen up the two set screws. Be careful not to lose these screws because they are extremely small. I'm going to set this aside right there and to remove this you see it just slides right out and then slide the belt out as well just like that and that's how you uh, loosen up and remove that belt <coughs> there's a certain spot that it actually will lock into and there's a flat part of this um, center shaft here. So make sure when you put this and seat this back on that it goes back on to that part, flat part of that center shaft, just like that. And then you're gonna put the set screw in. Um, I'm not gonna walk through actually removing the entire thing because it's basically making sure that that's removed, removed all these four screws holding the DC clutch in right here. And once you install the new DC clutch, all you have to do is just make sure it lines up correctly. And when you spin this gear, that it spins simultaneously. So of course, you tighten everything in place. Or actually, let me just go ahead and remove it. So you can see here. There's the belt. That's the DC clutch right there. So when you're installing a new one, just simply position it in place. Of course, screw it back in. And um, don't forget to tighten up this gear to the flat part of this shaft because if this is loose, it'll cause a paper jam as well. And that's about it.